So as I said before, I'm just going to sort arrays, OK? And I'm going to just have an integer of arrays. I'm going to have an integer array. And when we're sorting a list, like I just showed you um, with the ins insertion sort, we, of course, skip the first element. So our for loop can start at element 1, because we're going to compare that to the element before it. And looking at every element in the list, just with our simple for loop, And I'm just going to have another integer j. And I'm going to have another integer uh, v, which I'm going to call array i, just to make things easy. It's the array element at position i. And then I can just go through my list starting with j equal to i minus 1 until j is greater than or equal to 0. And I'm going to decrease j. Okay. If the element at position j is less than or equal to my, var my variable v, that I set up here, which is element at position i, then I'm done, and I don't need to carry on going through, right? I'm done with my sort. I'm going to move my element. And then, now that I'm done, I figured out where my new, my V that I took out here, where it should go. So by remembering the element that I'm comparing in my less than or equal to comparison, by remembering it here, as I go through the loop, it's fine if I overwrite it. Notice that we start here with J equal to I minus one. So here we set j plus 1 equal to the variable. Right? So we're moving things over. We move things over, and then eventually, once we found the spot to put the element in, we just copy that element through. So it's a relatively simple piece of code for the insertion sort. Okay? And it is, as you sort an already sorted list, it approaches big O of n complexity. So it's a good sort to have in your belt for a very specific time, which is when you have a sorted list.